oh, that was a good workout, wasn't it? Now we're all ready to go for another exciting lesson of science. Here we're going to look at types of mixtures. So as you've probably seen, there are a variety of mixtures and different types of substances. And today we're going to look at each one individually. So let's get ahead. First thing, let's look at what a pure substance is. A pure substance is only one type of substance within it. So it's the equally spaced out, uniformly distributed, same chemical. Here, for example, is a gold ring. See, nice and gold, worth a lot of money. That's a pure substance. An example is gold. Let's put this down here. Now, other substances are known as mixtures. The majority of them are. They're just two types of substances that come together in various ways. And as you've probably seen, there are a few types, and we're going to go through all the terminologies associated with it. Let's see the first type of mixture. It's what we call a solution. Now, a solution is a homogenous mixture. What does homogenous mean? It means that it is uniformly spread out, so the mixture is the same composition throughout the entire substance. An example is sugar water. Let's make it. Now, you can do this at home if you want. You can follow along. Sugar in a satchel. Add a teaspoon or two. Let's put that in. Add in some water. Some valuable H2O. Get my swizzle stick. Stir. To dissolve it. Dissolved. As you can see, particles are gone. Therefore, it's a... Solution, it is homogenous because the sugar particles are spaced out throughout the entire substance. There we go, a bit more, dissolve more, and there we go. Nice and sugary. Let's put this off to the side. So now we're on to one type of solution. Another mixture is what we call a suspension. An example would be dirt in water. So what I've done, I've gone outside, got some dirt. Here's our sample. Nice and clean. Let's put that in. Mix it with water. So suspension there, as you can see, it's solid materials mixed in to the entire substance. You can see some of the top, some have already sunk below. You can see it's relatively cloudy. That's because the particles are large enough to scatter the light. Hence the particles are suspended throughout. Give it another bit of a stir just to unsettle the stuff on the bottom. And what you might see happening is that some of the substances start to move down to the bottom. That's a suspension. You can see the particles in there. If you can see it, it's a suspension. Let's put that down. Add into our collection. Next one, an emulsion. Now here we're going to get very technical here with some terminologies. So the first type of material is an emulsion. Now, what is an emulsion? It's a mixture where you get two liquids. For example, a liquid water is here, H2O, and some oil. Now, these are two substances that generally don't mix, but they could mix if they could be. So we'll just quickly pour it in a little bit. Bit of oil in there, and as you can see, there's a layer on top, layer of water on the bottom. Why they don't mix? Various reasons, different densities, different polarities, but for today, they do not mix. Okay, so we can give it a bit of a stir. See how we go here. Stirring, as you can see, a bit of a vortex happening, but still they don't want to mix, do they? So how could we make them mix? It's what we call adding an emulsifier. Let's get one now something like a detergent. So what we're going to do is clean up our oil and water. That's a little bit there, but very going to be very clean, isn't it? So you give it a stir. This is how your washers get, your washing, dishwashing stuff gets cleaned. Cleans the oil off, and as you can maybe see there, might have a bit too much in, but it doesn't matter. That is our emulsion. It's a mixture. And now our last, mixture we're going to look at is a colloid. Now a colloid is slightly different from all the others, so just going back over this again, a solution is made up of 
dissolved particles, so for example here sugar molecules, dissolved in the liquid water, you cannot see them. It's uniform around, hence it's a homogeneous mixture. Now the rest of them are what we call heterogeneous because the mixture isn't distributed uniformly. Some parts have more of one substance, another part has more of the other. It's all different depending on where you look and where you get your sample from. Our suspension, as we go, is lots of little particles suspended within the mixture itself. And these ones here, some of the suspensions, if the particles are heavy enough, they can come down to the bottom and settle. And that's what we call sediment. So as you can see, some dirt in the water. So the liquid water is at the top here, still a little bit of particles floating around given the cloudiness, and a lot of the sediments are at the bottom. There you go. And emulsion, again, is a mixture of two different liquids that are mixed together somehow, whether physical means or some sort of chemical means. Now it might be hard to see in the video, but there are the examples you can look at and have a look for yourself to make an emulsion. That's one example. The last one here is a colloid. So a colloid is a heterogeneous mixture. So again, no matter where the sample is, it's always different amounts of particles around it. Our example today is milk. Now you might think, why is milk heterogeneous? It looks exactly the same. Yes, it does. And that's just the case of the physics of light passing through. And it's obviously light being dispersed throughout the substance. So it appears normal. But if you get a microscope and really look into it, you'll see that these particles are randomly distributed around, hence why it's heterogeneous. Now a colloid is a special type of mixture similar to emulsion. So emulsion, two liquids mixed together. A colloid is where you get a liquid and solids mixed together. Now what is a solid in milk? That is the fat. So the fat from the cow's Milk's mixture, that is where it, what it is. So milk is a mixture of water and some fat droplets in here. And so there's our colloid. So one other way we can look at this is by looking at how light passes through these different materials. So let's have a look here. There we go. So if I shine light, I shine light through a solution, you can clearly see that it's relatively undeflected. If I go through a suspension, you can see how the light has spread out a lot. That's because the light is being scattered by the little particles inside to make it seem a lot light, lighter than it is. See, slight difference, but it's there. An emulsion, same thing, spreading out the light as much as it can, depending on what's in here. A colloid, on the other hand, it's very relatively thick, so it relatively absorbs the light. So therefore, colloids can be distinguished by not being able to transfer the light, amongst other reasons. So let's have one last look at this before we finish. We'll start off with our pure substance, such as gold, only one type of material in there, which is the gold atom. We come across to our solution of sugar and water. Then there's our suspension of dirt and water. There's our emulsion mixing oil and water. And then milk, all the oils and fats and that in there, make it as a colloid. And that is a summary of our types of mixtures for today.